morning, year five. Um, so as you already know, these slides can be used alongside this video or they can be used um, independently. Um, as well as working through um, this lesson, we would also like you to complete an Education City activity, which is all to do with how to search effectively um, on the internet. And that will be um, useful and will help you um, with this English lesson. So before we begin, we would like you to have a go at this starter, which will revise your understanding of suffixes. Um, when you're ready to move on, press play. So we have already done um, one piece of writing that was a diary entry about holes. Um, and this week we have got started thinking, of, um, thinking about our information text that we will be writing about the yellow spotted lizard. So a different piece of writing, um, which is non-fiction. So we are going to use the text holes to research information about the yellow spotted lizard. Um, that will provide us with facts and ideas uh, which will inform our piece of writing um, later on in the week. Um, so to do this, we're going to look specifically at chapters one and eight. Um, we have included these chapters on the website as PDFs um, for you to have a read through if you do not have the book. Um, so first of all, we would like you to write your ideas on a blank sheet um, as a mind map. Um, using those two chapters to find facts about the lizard. So if I go on to the next slide, we can see an example of how you would do this. And we have already included some um, facts here already just to get you started. So complete um, this mind map before moving on to the next slide um, where we have um, collected lots of ideas from those two chapters, but make sure you're doing this yourself independently before moving on um, to magpie anything that you may have missed. So when you're ready, press play. So as I mentioned, here are lots of different facts um, talking about um, different, part, uh, different categories to do with um, the yellow spotted lizard. So feel free to magpie some of these ideas if you missed them in your own research. So um, there is actually a real creature called the yellow spotted lizard, but it is very different to the one in the book. So the real one lives in the rainforest and it is not deadly. Um, but to make our writing, to make writing our information text easier, we will be using descriptions based on the yellow spotted lizard in the book holes. So mo a lot of our information will come from the book holes, but it will be a mixture of um, the things that we find in our research today, as well as what we the ideas that we have got from the book. So there are four categories that you'll be expected to write about for your information text. So let's just make sure that we know what each one means. So in one paragraph, you'll be talking about physical appearance. Um, in another paragraph, habitat and diet. And in another paragraph, attack and defense strategies. And finally, any additional information. So just um, take a moment to pause the video and make sure and familiar Familiarise yourself um, with what these categories mean. And when you're ready to move on, press play. So, as I already mentioned, your activity today is going to be to research yellow spotted lizards on the internet and create a mind map. Um, so you will be adding to your knowledge of the yellow spotted lizard from the book. However, you may all find out different information from the internet and that is fine. So on this slide, there are two different examples, um, model examples of um, how your mind map or how your mind map might look. So um, feel free to pause the video and take your time to, to have a look at these. So um, here is an example of the layout that we would like you to follow. So we have the different, we have the main character uh, the main um, title in the middle, so the yellow spotted lizard, and then the different uh, categories branching out from the main title. So physical appearance, habitat and diet, attack and defense, strategies, and finally it was uh, additional information. And you can see coming out of each, oops, 
for year five. Um, coming out of each of these subcategories, there is extra information um, here, so extra facts about each category. So please ensure you only write down facts you understand and that make sense. If you don't understand it, the information should not be in your information text. Um, so we have um, put some websites to help you with your research on this slide. So for the bronze activity, complete the mind map, list three facts in each section. If you're working on silver, list five facts in each section. And if you're doing gold, complete silver. And then can you begin to write your notes in high quality sentences rather than uh, just copying from the book or internet? Um, so also make sure you have enough room for all of your ideas. So use a double page um, to collect all of those facts that you find. Um, and try and put as much detail as in as possible and try and make it as tidy as possible um, because this is essentially the plan for um, when you come to write your information text. So when you have done all of that research, um, there is a reflection shape for you to um, think about what your next step is and why. Um, so enjoy your uh, researching and uh, have a lovely day. Thank you very much, Year 5.